members of the General Council of the Franciscan Friars of Atonement, Friars of the Franciscan Friars of Atonement, Sisters of the Franciscan Friars of Atonement. Not the Friars. Sisters. Oh, how, how, what, see, how do I say it? Sisters? Sisters of the Sisters of the Friars of, of the. Of yeah, see, so you can laugh. <laughs> They're not Friars. They're not Friars. Okay. <laughs> and friends of the Franciscan Friars and Sisters of Atonement. <laughs> Good evening, and thank you all for being here. Let me first start off by congratulating Timothy for the wonderful and courageous talk he just gave. <laughs> Timothy is what St. Christopher's does. And Timothy, you made us proud tonight. Second, let me congratulate and thank Ted Moodis for allowing us to honor him tonight. Ted and his firm, Ted Moodis and Associates, have been long-term supporters and benefactors of the Inn. And for that, we are truly grateful. I would also like to thank my family for being here and supporting me, as they always have. I'd like to acknowledge my, law, my loving and darling wife, Marie. She's been dying to hear me say that in public. <laughs> I'd like to acknowledge my lovely daughters, Tricia and Courtney. My brother, Raymond, and his wife, Dina my sister Catherine and her husband Tom. And of course, I'd like to thank my in-laws, Mr. and Mrs. Palmich, or they'd like to be known as Dan and Terry. And unfortunately, my son is not able to be with us tonight. He's in Sri Lanka at the moment, and the commute was a bit long. St. Christopher's Inn is truly a remarkable place. It performs, it performs miracles every day. St. Christopher's saves lives. Plain and simple, that's what it does. The Inn is a ministry of the Franciscan Friars of Atonement, but it is not a Catholic institution. It accepts and has individuals of all religions, both in its census and on its staff. And what a staff it has, but I'll get to that in a minute. The Inn does, however, place a strong emphasis on spirituality. It is considered to be a key component of the rebuilding of one's lives. The Inn is hands down the best at what they do. There are statistical measurements for facilities like St. Christopher's, and the Inn surpasses and exceeds these measurements two and three times the norm. Now somewhere out there, over there I believe, is David Gerber, the Inn's Director of Counseling. A Jewish fellow, by the way, who's married to a Protestant who also is a member of the staff at St. Christopher's. His wife, Cindy, and Christine Medeiros is responsible for the, basically for what we're here tonight. They handled all the aspects of getting us and making this such a wonderful function. But back to David. David Gerber, the Inn's Director of Counseling, can spew out all the statistics that I'm referring to. You can go talk to him later tonight and he can verify everything to show how good statistically St. Christopher's is in. But better yet, let's take a trip up to Graymore and visit the inn and witness firsthand what they do. But that offer comes with a warning. You may get hooked and become a believer like me. There are openings on our board. Now back to the staff. The staff are the most hardworking, dedicated group of men and women anyone could meet. That is, one, that is one of the reasons why St. Christopher is as good as it is. Even if they aren't, as I just said, all Catholic. I am up here tonight supposedly being honored for my dozen plus years of being involved with the Inn. I kind of find that ironic because I can guarantee everyone in this room, 
I received far more than I gave. And for that, I'd like to thank everybody at St. Christopher's Inn. In closing, I'd like to acknowledge my former employer, that does sound funny, <laughs> Rolex, and express how proud I was and am for, this, for how strong they have supported the inn over the years. It was pure charity for the sake of charity. I'd also, like, I'd also like to thank the many partners and vendors of Rolex that are here tonight and have been over the many dinners that we have had. As I said earlier, St. Christopher's saves lives, and your support also saves lives. And I guess lastly, before I finish, I'd also like to acknowledge my fellow board members that are here tonight. And each year, I've asked them all to stand. And if I would, I'd like them to stand now and be acknowledged. So please, all the board members that are here tonight, please stand. <laughs> Mary, you were supposed to be on that side of the room. <laughs> With that, I thank you, and thanks everyone for being here tonight. Good job, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, I got to take my.